Dodgers coming off a four-win season and all the experts picking them to finish last, a funny thing happened. Marty changed. He began listening to the players instead of dictating to them. He lightened up in practice, he opened up the offense, and the Chargers responded by playing their best football in a decade. Marty once said, coaching is creating situations where there is no uncertainty. Well, there was nothing uncertain about the Charger team that hosted Tampa Bay in week 14. Last time the Tampa Bay Buccaneers visited San Diego, they left as Super Bowl 37 champions. When they returned to Qualcomm Stadium in week 14, they were pleased to see that not much had changed. Same sun, same field, same coach. But the men playing for John Gruden have changed. Just another Sunday, but I'm playing my old teammates, so, you know. It's all war in between the white lines. Afterwards, we we best of friends. But right now, it's game time. I don't think Brett Favre has the strongest arm in our league. Because Drew doesn't snap about how many of my fingers. I don't know, maybe four or five. That guy has a cannon. And uh, I think they're going to see it today. How many fingers are you going to break today, Drew? Chargers quarterback Drew Brees has been finding fingers all season long, thanks to a newfound respect for the passing game by head coach Marty Schottenheimer. Marty Ball may have a new look, but it teaches the same simple virtues. See the ball snap now, man. Look at the ball. Eyes are up. Set quick. Follow it with your eyes. Come back to the ball. That's good. Come back to the ball. We got to come back to the ball. Cover the point of the ball. Right between them two fingers is where it goes. We know what we got to do, man. We know exactly what has to be done. ALT, hey, how about busting a couple helmets off him today, huh? Bust a couple of helmets off. It's just like practice, isn't it? It is. It's just, it's like, it's just like practice. We're going to have our hands full today. It's going to be a handful day because they are pretty dang good on defense. See that? They're here because of you. And you and you and you. That's why they're here. It's showtime, man. Let's step up, start fast, finish strong. Let's go. Chargers on three. One, two, three, Chargers. Now in his 19th season as a head coach, Marty Schottenheimer is about to lead his team to the postseason for the 12th time, more than any other active coach. The 2004 Chargers are a diamond in the rough, transformed by the newest version of Marty Ball. courtesy to remove your hat during the national anthem but it's the mark of a true gentleman to remove your hat when speaking to a lady congratulations that was wonderful thank you and it's the mark of an old school coach to run the ball on the first play of the game something the chargers did for a 14-yard game run through those arm tackles run through the arm tackles Run through the arm tackles. Arm tackles pose no problem. But on third down from the Buccaneers' 39-yard line, the Chargers were tripped up by their own turf. Line of scrimmage around the 40, and LT slips and falls. Lost his footing trying to cut. And made a cut, lost his footing, and went down short of the first down. Punt them all. Yes. They're trying to set the formation to get us running around and not get set. The punt stuck John Gruden's team under the shadow of their own goalpost. The Chargers defense, which has allowed just one run over 20 yards this season, kept the Bucks to a three and out, but still found room for improvement. There's no way 
should have got five yards. Okay, on that freaking first play now. See, I mean, you're a little high. All right, get lower and just knock it back. Get your pads down. Steve, get a brush on those Shut guys, will you? Hit the limit. Yeah. Oh, who? Anybody. Oh. Is it first play? Yeah. Now, I told you they're going to come back to it, right? They're going to come back to the TG stuff. Backside of slot. Be patient. Just have a good time out there, right? We're playing well. No one expected rookie tight end Antonio Gates to play this well. With 11 touchdowns, he's one short of the season record for tight ends. And Breeze backs up, back pedals, looks to throw, dumps it over the middle, and it's caught by Gates! What a catch! Watch this. But this 17-yarder was Gates' only catch of the day. And three plays later, the Chargers face third down in the Tampa red zone. One yard, Cam. One yard. Huh? One. You got it. I just think it's a good play. We'll find out. Third down one. Breeze sneaks. He's been perfect this season on third down plunges, and it looks like he's good again. We're going for it. Come right back with it. First down inside the 18-yard line. Moving right, the snap. Breeze hands the ball off. A flip back, a flea flicker to the quarterback. Goes to the left side. It is intercepted. Oh. Picked what? off by Rodney Barber. A little trickery, Mr. Barber, if you will. You pull the hat trick. He got the rabbit out of the hat. What happened on the interception? Under threw it. Under threw it. Yeah. And if Peel lets it get intercepted. That sucker's coming off fast, like the Miami Dolphins ran against us in the preseason, okay? So Chidi's got to go to work. Split, split his power. Split, split his power. Oh, split his power. I made sure every tell every guy here. Split his pirate, okay? Beware the pirate who steals your ball, for he has only one goal. To invade your end zone on the very next series. Here's the snap. Breezy dropping, dumps the ball, caught. One handed by Dilger, but he'll get to the 50 yard line. You gotta get. Use your arms, great. The only way to fight back is to plunder the pirate himself. Two split backs backing up. Breezy dumps it high and is intercepted by Danny Edwards. Into the rally. He kills the rally. Chargers ball. Another big play by number 59 as the Chargers will start out in their third possession in a scoreless game across midfield. But I knew it wasn't going over your head. Though. Ball, 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 and turned around and just like. I knew I couldn't get it because it was kind of short, just right. So he couldn't get it, so he didn't call ball for me. Uh, no, I didn't want to make sure. I, I saw that works. You turn around. You turn around. You turn around. You catch the ball. I couldn't even make a play on it, so I'm not going to call ball. Nice job, Donnie. Good job on the rush. Did you feel him? Yeah. Try to yeah. set. Yeah. Hey, back came to me fast. Hey, D. He hit and spun around. Great. He didn't bring your arms. That's why God gave him to you. The Chargers had twice failed to score from within the Tampa 40. At the end of the first quarter, they were on the move again. From the 44, fake on a bootleg, running to his right. This is Breeze. Breeze still running. Breeze still running. It's being harassed. It's being still harassed. He gets the pass away. It is caught. Inbound to the 36. Breeze looked like Michael Vick. Well, that, we call that a Norval. You know, because Dan Fouts' backup was Norv Turner at Oregon. Uh -huh. A wobbler. Well, let's call it a Hoyt Wilhelm. It was a knuckle. Yeah, it was a knuckle. But it was wasn't. good. You oh, my God. Seams. Charlie Huff. It was a Charlie Huff. The Bucks defense responded on third down with a fastball up and in. Field goal. Field goal. Stay. Got a report. Marty Schottenheimer is not going to waste any time. He's going to send in rookie kicker Nate Kading and say, kick me a long field goal. Get me some points there. 51-yard attempt out of the hold of Cyphers. It's got plenty of leg, and it is no good. And the score is still nothing, nothing early in the second quarter in San Diego. Good hit. You hit it good, and it never turned. It just never turned for you. It never turned. It was a, look, you just, it's a damn good hit. Damn good hit. Good was not getting it done. On three straight drives, Marty Ball had ended in a stall. Hey, be alert to black formation and run three verticals. Okay. See? Bang that tight end, Randall. The Chargers were waiting. And when Tampa Bay went for tight end Ken Dilger, San Diego was ready. Backing up, Reese to throw. Pump fake and then fires it downfield. It is Dilger knocked away. Dilger had it with Edwards in a bit for a 
second pickoff in this game, knocked it away. Well, that's a great defensive play, Donnie Edwards. He's on fire today. This Charger defense, three series by Tampa Bay, stop him all three times. Hey, defense, great job. Way to hang here, one play at a time. Great job, defense. Here we go, guys. Three and out now, let's start fast. You gotta make those play action pass look like play action long. Make them look like long. That's not hard to do when LaDainian Tomlinson is the decoy. The charge is a perfect 7-0, and they score first. Back to pass, big hand up through Breeze, off play action, spots the receiver, throws it deep, and Parker caught! Parker, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Chargers! It's 79-yard touchdown pass. That's got to be long this year, Corey, but one hell of a job. A closer look at the play shows number 26, Dwight Smith, reacting to Keenan McCardell's crossing route thereby allowing Eric Parker to get behind the coverage. And then a missed tackle by Rondé, which you don't see very often. And lightning has struck the Tampa Bay Buccaneers again. Shoot that cannon off, folks. It's a good sound. I knew that was a touchdown right away because of safety. Stop his speed. He looked at me. down on you. Boone's going to get pissed off and go deep on him. Huh? He's going to get pissed off and go deep. Is that right? Yeah. All right. Hey, Kanan. Roman told me, he said, John will get, you know, he'll get real anxious and start wanting to throw it up the field. Yeah. I don't know that this is true or not, but Roman said to me, Oban, he said, what'll happen, Gruden will get impatient because he's behind and trying to go down the field. Now, let's just play, but you be aware of that as a deep safety, all right? San Diego knew what was coming, but they still couldn't stop it. Just like that, Tampa Bay knocking on the door at the Chargers 36 yard line. We got 800 plays in our offensive playbook to get seven. But on this drive, it would take only one. Here's the snap, breezy dropping, good protection, looking. Goes the sideline round toward Galloway, and he makes the catch. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! We don't have a cannon to fire here in San Diego, but I can hear him back at Raymond James Stadium. Speed kills. This guy is a rocket. 800 plays on the Get down. All right. John Gruden's offense has a reputation for being complex. But in Brian Greasy's eighth game as a starter, the veteran proved he was a quick study. The Buccaneers showed off their moves on the sideline, but made them where they counted most. You know they're going to be throwing at number 37. He is the deep safety play action fake. Breeze looking downfield, throwing downfield, throwing downfield. It's picked off at the Will line by Will Allen. His first career interception. How do you like that, Mr. Breeze? I knew you were going to pick on me. Rookie out of Ohio State first round draft pick just playing through Breeze. A little play action, go right at the rookie. Good job, good ball reaction that time by Will Allen coming over to making the pick. Now Drew Brees had thrown just four interceptions coming into the game. He's thrown two today. Reading inside, felt like I had him with my eyes inside and trying to sing it the whole outside. They're fast. They're fast. Anytime he's in that gray area, right? Just go two backs, eliminate the full back. In great shape. Great job with the reset, too. I love communication. That's good. Keep our poise. Keep our poise. Keep our poise. Let's go. Let's go. Unfortunately for the Chargers, their tough defense began to soften under the assault from Michael Pittman. Well, you I look mean, at his arms look like thighs for Pete's sake. His biceps are incredible. 19 and a half inches. Has a tattoo on one of them says, the real black Superman. He could have the whole alphabet on that one bicep, couldn't he? A to Z. Pittman's guns gave Tampa the firepower they needed, and the Buccaneers moved up to the Chargers' 20-yard line. 
It is third down, seven. Here's the snap, dropping back, Reezy looking right, tosses on caught by Clayton, Clayton inside the ten, he's to the seven, it's first down and goal, Tampa Bay. Clayton has come up huge on third down and long. The rookie putting on a show. Greasy under center, fans getting into it, backing up, Greasy fade, Boone is almost intercepted, almost picked off. Facing third and five, Tampa Bay's head coach had a decision to make. Against the NFL's best run defense, he elected to throw. Third down goal from the five. Here's the snap. Breezy dropping because Roger throws a pass toward the goal line. It is caught, but short at the one. Now what do you do? Now what That's do you do, right. John Gruden? That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. We'll take that. We'll take that. All right. That's it. Gruden decided to go for the chip shot field goal and take the lead. And now Taylor will attempt to break the tie. From the 10, a 20-yard field goal, airborne, and it is good! A flag has been thrown. Tripping. Wow, a tripping penalty on Ken Dilger. And Jay Taylor will have to attempt a field goal that is twice as long. Hey, hey, we cannot hit the kicker now. Trying to break the tie, 7-7 ball game, center snap. A 30-yard field goal try is up, and this one is missed it. missed it off the left side. And we have a tie ball game continue. What a break, and what a mental error by the tight end, Ken Dilger, who gets called for tripping. Way to go. Way to go, Dave. Way to go, Dave. Way to go, Dave. Tampa Bay had squandered another opportunity. And with the score tied, the Chargers needed to seize one. Just take care of the ball. Throw two of them already. He cannot hold the damn ball against this bunch. What's that back, LT? Backpedaling, Drew Brees, pressured, shakes loose of a sack, now he goes down. And Spires might be flat. Face mask! By the end of the game, the Buccaneers would be penalized 12 times for 111 yards, their second-highest penalty total this season. Tampa Bay was giving away yards, but on the next play, San Diego lost a starter. Keenan McCardell was sidelined with a strained hamstring, and the Chargers would have to beat the Buccaneers without their most experienced receiver. What's the matter? Your hamstring? Keenan is out. He just got a little hamstring. I don't know we what know now. We know if it's 3D, we're pumping on this thing. All right, we're going to go eye right open, 20 ISO. If you got to get out of it, Captain, going, pump. Captain pump right over here. All season long, the Chargers have made a name for themselves by winning with a cast of unknowns. After McCardell's injury, another one stepped up. Breeze in the pocket. Throws the other side of the field. The set comes down. Touchdown for your San Diego Super Chargers. That's why you have to come back to the ball. What a play by Drew Brees. Under duress. Wow. Finds a way to release the football. And it looked like Dwight Smith might be in position to make an interception. But Kazim Osgood gets that big six foot five inch frame and he says, No, 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 Smurf. It's all mine. Jerry! They're going to try to hit the seams in the numbers. They got now it's got to go in the end zone. With under a minute to go in the half, they first went to their rookie playmaker. down by the Bucks on third down. Again, Michael Clayton. Three of his catches have been on third down. Wade Phillips is telling every one of his defensive backs to get all the way back. Just do not let him throw the Hail Mary and get a tip drill here in the closing three seconds. With time running out, Tampa Bay had one chance to score. Up near midfield, getting room at the throw as Gracie who fires down the middle of the field. This one is going to be intercepted. Take it back. Hammer. Take it back. Good job. Hey, hey, if Keel had made a block for you, you might have scored. He just couldn't, he couldn't get to the guy. The Buccaneers' frustration was growing. 
After a first half dominated by missed opportunities, they couldn't afford to waste any more. Let's get the tempo going our way. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Win on three. One, two, three, win. win. Stopping the run is the first chapter in Schottenheimer's book of defense. Tampa Bay was held to 49 first half rushing yards. To win, they would need to pass. Early in the third quarter, the Bucks went on the attack. Pass goes toward Gallo. It makes the ground in his tenth round, and he's tackled out of bounds. Greasy throws underneath and is caught. First down. Dilger's got the catch and then run to the 46 yard line. Double in, right? 370. Dummy count alert. Hand signal. Hurry up. Here's the snap. Breezy looks over the middle, fires over the caught again. Dilger, the tight end, he's got it to the 49. The Buccaneers have found a soft spot behind the linebackers and underneath the safeties. Every ball is thrown between the damn number. Is that correct or not? You hit one out here on a scramble. Other than that, everything's inside. With some improvisation, the flanks opened up as well. Pressure coming, pressure coming, avoid it. Runs to his right, dumps it downfield, caught by Jeremy, just first down to the 40, he's to the 35-yard line. Vincent, give him the business, baby. Greasy, a Houdini avoids a sack, and then finds number 83. You go, Joe, and make a big it. play, his first catch in two weeks. Bucks could beat this team. He completed passes to six different receivers on the drive. It's like Donnie Evers was in on that tackle, slow getting up again. Donnie, let him go. Let him go. Let him see. Are you all right or not? You what? He's all right. He's got the wind knocked out of him. Donnie! Jerry! Jerry! Ben! Ben! Keep them together! Here's the snap. Greasy dropping, looking goes underneath. Caught Galloway at the 25. Spins by a tackle to the 15. Dives to the 10-yard line. The Bucks are in the Zeno zone. It's first down and goal, maybe. They're going to try to probably throw a fade. Let's get the good jam on the outside, guys. Big backs. You big backs. They give me green, right, grass, buzz. Take 97. Whip. Make it right, wide slam corner. San Diego was thinking fade. Joey Galloway was thinking touchdown. Breezy dropping, dropping, looking right, going to his right. Caught! Touchdown, Galloway! Touchdown, Tampa Bay! A point away from tying the score. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you just flat out get beat by a great play made by the receiver. Galloway just puts an unbelievable move on Jerry Wilson on the little out and up and finds the back of the end zone. Let's keep our heads up, man. Let's keep our heads up. Let's keep working. Zero, it's zero, zero. That's right. Zero, zero. Let's go. We've been here before. Let's keep our poise. Keep pressing it. That's the deal. We got to keep pounding physical every snap to finish. In prior seasons, a second half surge would blow away San Diego's confidence. But this isn't last year's Chargers. While the Bucks burst San Diego's bubble, they couldn't puncture their will. that touchdown run Tom Elway right here in the Super Bowl oh, yeah. uh, where he just got hit and he just did the whirly bird into the end zone yep. exactly what the end of that play looked like green green Let's go. Tampa Bay has the league's best pass defense to attack it the Chargers turned passes into runs by Ladanian Tomlinson SLT has it and has room he's inside the up to the 40 yard line 41 when he accelerates he makes the other guys look slow. Tampa Bay's defense wasn't slow. San Diego's line was pushing them backwards. To Sim Osgood goes in motion, comes left side. Hand off LT right in the middle. Off right to LT at the 30, at the 25, 20, angling 15, at the 10, and down at the 9-yard line. Tonyu Fono T, just amoeba. 
in goal. A cavernous running lane up the middle, and LT accelerates into the secondary, down to the Tampa 10-yard line, and so this just in. The line of scrimmage officially belongs to the San Diego Chargers in this game. Tomlinson carried 25 times for 131 yards and scored his league-leading 14th rushing touchdown of the season. Hope he scores on this play so we can get to pick with the lead. Drew Brees hands off LT, right side run. Punching, running, yeah. charging, touchdown! Touchdown, Chargers, LT! LT, LaDainian Tomlinson, taking over this football game. Good teams win games they're supposed to win. The Chargers had answered. Now it was up to Tampa Bay. They're going to make well, yards. Get rattled. That's when they get exactly you. right. The key is this. Get them in there. we got to concentrate on formations and communicate with one. Yeah. The fourth quarter. Time to shake off the pretenders and take it. Time to finish. Tampa Bay couldn't run, and the open spots underneath the Chargers zone had closed. The Buccaneers were running out of answers and running out of time. Drew, just tell them to keep pounding in there, physical. Run or pass, pound away at them. Pound away at them. We're gonna keep pounding, wear them down. Grind them in the damn dirt. Tampa Bay knew what was coming. Marty Schottenheimer hadn't changed that much. But knowing is one thing. Stopping LaDainian Tomlinson is quite another. Three and out. Tampa Bay had answered. Malcolm Floyd is one of the gunners on this play. The rookie out of Wyoming. No, 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 no you got it. High and deep and down. Fumble football by Gallery. Dives on the back. Oh my goodness! Ball recovered by Joey Galloway. You would have had to fumble. Though. You've got to finish that thing off. You know, I tell you, young players like what happened. You see what happened? Pippins has got the guy beat. He's running, and he sees the guy signal fair catch, and he slows down. And, and if it had just kept going, the ball would have come out, boom, boom, and would have had the damn ball. Persistence. It's how comebacks are born, and how Tampa Bay intended to salvage its season. Reese found Mike Allstott, and the Bucks were driving. Chargers forced a punt, then settled into the predictable ways of Marty Ball passed. Move! Move! Yes! But the Chargers have got to have an extended drive and chew up the clock and hopefully come away with three. You do that, it is over. Just be careful with the damn ball. Everyone knew where the ball was going. 
finally, it bounced the Bucks. And off LT trying to come wide. Tries to turn the corner. Outside of the 30 at the 30. Fumbles the football. It's loose. Diving forward. Who's got it? Buccaneers had a shot at it. Buccaneers had a shot at it. Don't know if they did. They did. Yes. Buccaneer football. The Danian tablets and it taken off. Somebody reached up and knocked it away. And the Buccaneers have come up with it. All right, let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Put it aside. Put it aside, kid. You okay? All right, it's over. Don't let it stay with you. You are going to need you later. Are you all right? If we can crack their spirit, hey, we can. Hey, we're not going to be critics today. We're going to win today. Tampa Bay had a short field and a chance to tie the game. Tries to get the corner, pick him, lowers his shoulder and is knocked out of bounds inside the 35 and the 34. Yeah. That's called finishing runs, finishing catches. He is outstanding. He is strong like four. A weak left, F right, 25 C sail life basic. The snap, Greasy looking, looking, goes the sideline, fade round, it is. Follow Calhoun, oh. it's good. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Michael Slayton's got it. Juggle job. It's 21 to 20. One of the best catches you will ever see. Quentin Jammer running stride for stride, has excellent position, and Clayton tips the ball up to himself. Jammer never saw it. A forced fumble and a circus catch had swung the game's momentum. Tampa Bay had it. And any shot at the playoffs now depended on what they did with it. Football, man. This is why we're out here. This is why we're out here. Let's go. Let's have some damn fun at it. The game's the same as it started. Tied. Let's just go do our thing, right? We're the Chargers one play at a time. Let's go. Let's go have some damn fun. Let's play ball. Let's play ball. It's like a sea battle in the old pirate times. And we're firing cannonballs and back and forth scoring. The onus now clearly on the San Diego offense. Pressure. How a team responds to it in the fourth quarter is the acid test of character. High game 21. Breeze play action fake. Dropping, dropping, dropping. And you go down. Simeon Rice sacks him at the 31-yard line. Simeon refused to be blocked by his former teammate Roman Open. He came flying by Roman and says, remember the Roman Empire didn't last forever. Hey. Right now, Simeon Rice is having his way with Roman Open. The Buccaneers' defense understands the crucible of pressure. A hard place where toughness counts. Tampa dug in and stoned LaDainian Tomlinson three times. Hey, look, now. We'll get good field position. We got to get three and out. Field positions, what we'll do. Okay, Donnie? Donnie Edwards, number 59, was the key to San Diego's defense, which now needed to duplicate Tampa's three and out. I told you about field position. I'll tell them three and out. In the NFL, talent is everywhere. So in a tie game, the difference between victory and defeat is often not a matter of skill, but desire. It's another one of those games for the Chargers. Just find a way to win. Find some way to win this game. That's the way this team is. The Bucs were determined to get the ball to Michael Clayton, number 80. Well, there's no doubt they're trying to throw the ball to number 80. Knowing what an opponent will do is only half the battle. A team must also know itself, trust itself, then make the plays that make the difference. Short drop again, fires the middle, intercepted, intercepted Chargers on the run. It's once again Donnie Edwards, touchdown, touchdown Chargers. Quarterback Greasy never saw him. Looking for Clayton on the hook pattern. The backside linebacker, always the dangerous guy on defense. And Donnie picks it and takes it back 31 yards for the go-ahead touchdown. Ryan Greasy has thrown some interceptions in his career that have really hurt, and that one just hurt the Buccaneers. And say goodnight, Tampa. Your season is as good as over.
Thanks, big game. Good job, man. Hey, well. We have four minutes of football to play, my friend. I know. It's we'll celebrate here. later. You make sure. And I think, you know, I, I think he's pretty much abandoned the damn run. They had abandoned the run. And with Tampa's run game a non-factor, the Chargers were able to focus exclusively on the pass. Brian Greasy had little chance. We're rushing a passer now. We're rushing a passer. On third down, the Chargers rush struck like a bolt from the blue. As Greasy forced into the middle, the rush is on, the fumble football hit from behind. Phillip recovers, Chargers ball, Chargers ball. Early pressure forces Greasy to run out of the pocket, runs him down like a hungry dog in a meat house, forces the fumble. You go, boys, have some fun out there now. Woo! All afternoon's work. For not. The game and Tampa's season were all but lost. San Diego had the ball, the lead, and all the answers. What we gotta do is we gotta, gotta make a first down. No, no. What we gotta do is we gotta burn time off the clock and be in field goal position to go up like a first down. Down would clinch victory. Marty Schottenheimer was content to play it conservatively, calling three straight clock-consuming runs. First down, Chargers, they can run out the clock. Get to LT. Running play, burning clock. And down to three minutes on that short run by LT. We need a first down here, right? Yeah, but we're going to run the here. ball. If we have to okay. kick it, we kick it. Feed to LaDainian Tomlinson, runs into his own blocker, and the Buccaneers will stop him. Game clock at 246, so they'll have to attempt a field goal before the two-minute warning. If you're looking for a little silver lining, that could be it. I'm going to kick the field goal. 39-yard try, spotted, booted, long enough, high enough, and right down the middle. That's a 10-point lead. Keating hits the field goal late in the game, and no timeouts left for the Buccaneers, who trail 31-21. Nice to now. Get your senses back so we can go kick off, all right? You're the most high-strung guy I've ever been around. The Bucks were in big trouble. But on the ensuing kickoff, the Chargers' rookie kicker made a big mistake. This is the runoff, and Katie will kick it away. He missed it. No, he missed it. It goes out of bounds. They'll get it to the 40-yard line. Clock won't start. That's going to be a huge penalty on the San Diego Chargers. It's the fifth time he's done that this year. Has it, go back and check. Is it after he makes a big kick? I don't know, but he is the guy that gets more geeked up than any What's player I've ever seen. No, we're kicking the damn ball down the field. Come on, get it out. We might need you again here today, so get it out of your head. Let's go. Tampa Bay with the football after managed to get points with no timeouts left and only two minutes in which to work. Tampa had no room for fear, hesitation, or mistakes. Pass on oh, great catch in space. Clayton Clayton's got the catch to the 40 yard line. What a catch and then run by Michael Clayton. He's having a career game, and the Bucks will spike this one now with a minute 32 to go. Hey, just be smart. Hey. Keep our poise. The Chargers kept their poise, but Greasy kept firing. From the 40, here's the snap. Greasy throws to the right, caught ball, right sideline, out of bounds to stop the clock. There's life for the Bucks, but we're on life support. Crank up that ventilator, keep us living. The Bucks were showing heart, but not big playability. The short passes were gaining yards, but taking too much time. failed to get out of bounds, it was clear that Tampa would have to take a shot downfield. Line up with some depth. Keep it in front of you. 27 seconds left, third down. Back to pass, Gracie. Looking. Way too much time. Now throws to Clayton in the end zone. It is out of the back of the end zone because Jammer wouldn't let him come down. Or some kind of play by Quentin Jammer. Tantalizingly close. Greasy and Tampa were instead forced to salvage any points they could. And they're going to bring in the field goal kicker. And the thinking here is with 20 seconds left, trying to get some points. Then do the onside kick. The kick airborne. It's long enough. It's long enough. And it is good. Tampa had life. Marty Schottenheimer had a demand. Finish it. Finish it. Let's go. 
and he was taking no chances on the outcome of the onside kick. If they make this one, you make sure you get the defense together, because even if they recover the onside, they're not going to have much time, so make you ground them together. The run up by Taylor, chops it, he's got to go 10, it is up in the air, it's Doug Ford, marker down, Chargers I think got the ball even after all of that. Chargers football, game over, 31-24. How great has football been in this stadium this year? Beautiful. Not just beautiful, but unexpected. A season kissed by fate that no player wants to see end. The Chargers, who everybody had already called dead before the season began, have already picked up 10 wins. Congratulations at 10, but that's never been the target. That has never been the target. It's terrific to be there on the sideline and watch this football team play together. Something bad goes for us in one phase, somebody else steps up and makes a play. Goes bad another, and somebody else steps up and makes a play. And that's how you become a championship football team. We've got work to do, but you met the challenge today against a very, very good football team. We made it a little harder on ourselves than we needed to, but hey, let's give them their credit. The bottom line is this. We're the San Diego Chargers. You know this. And we are number one in the AFC West, and we're going to stay there. On a day when they were far from perfect, the Chargers had another perfect ending. Good enough for their seventh consecutive win. They've reached the point where they aren't fooling anybody anymore. They may not be the Patriots or the Steelers, but they've earned respect something they didn't have last year when they were the NFL's laughing stock. Remember the jokes? How do you keep the Chargers off your lawn? Put goalposts on it. Hear about John Elway retiring to San Diego? He wants to get as far away from the NFL as possible. Well now, this season, with a two-game lead in their division, the Chargers are toasted, not roasted. With the Broncos in decline, the Chiefs in denial, and the Raiders in disarray, the Chargers are closing in on their first playoff berth in nine years. Men, together, on three. One, two, three. Together! together.